coming. At the corner, those are my paintings. It's like a story. The leopards, they, um, they bring their prey up on the tree. Like there's a deer up uh, at the corner. And there's an eagle took a baby leopard and the mother is screaming hell. <laughs> this program that we're engaged in, it's called SAS which is short for Street Art Seniors of Stouffville. It's this amazing opportunity to work with a couple of facilitators that have flown in from Portugal that are helping us to create a piece of street art for our main street in Stouffville. I'm from Covilhã, a really small town in the interior of Portugal. I'm from Lisbon, uh, from Portugal as well. Think about uh, someone that does art, like do art. Lata 65 is a project that started in 2012. We've done the project in uh, Portugal, of course, and Spain and the United States, in Houston, then in Brazil and Sao Paulo, in the United Kingdom, in Scotland. We started with the contextualization of uh, all the history of graffiti and uh, we, we teach the, the students, the, the seniors, to do their own tag and then they decided to, to learn the technique of stencil. They will take the stencils, go to the wall, and start painting it. I think the idea of having seniors doing street art perks the ears, because it's like, what do you mean they're doing street art? Because that's not expected, and it creates an interest. The grandchildren are part Filipino, and grandma in Filipino is Lola, and they have a Lola, so I'm Lola too. After I have breakfast, I go out and sit and look at the woods and I look at birds. See, that's, that's where my thing came from. We forgot to ask you one thing that is really nice to put on the wall, that is your year of birth. If I saw my grandparents doing graffiti, I would think they're like super cool because I'm like a huge fan of like street art and stuff. It's really fun to help seniors be exposed to like new ideas like street art that they might not be familiar with. It's never too late to experience things that that are more common for young people to participate in. For me, the, the, the project can be like, can be a metaphor as well. The technique of stencil, the main thing is always to connect the parts so they don't fall, so to, to make bridges. Oh, so this part you wouldn't have to cut. You just cut everything on the outside? On the outside, yeah. Yeah, but for your eye, uh -huh. you would have to put up some ah, something up all the a link. Oh, yeah, a link. I think this is a protected space that they are the stars in this. This is just for seniors, not for kids, because for I think the, the, empowered the, as well. the society yeah. nowadays is more about the kids, the kids, the kids, and we always forget the seniors. What is valued is what it's still young or it can still be productive. So we decided to make this project just for themselves. And this is a place where they can draw everything they want to draw. Uh, they can put on the wall what they want to express to the streets. Um, and I think they feel safe in this, in this place. I'm not afraid to engage people in controversial conversation. The idea of people aging and becoming more invisible is concerning to me. And so this opportunity to be quite invisible is exciting. I was not expecting when I started doing projects of street art that the seniors were the more, more curious about what we are doing. The curiosity that I can feel in them, in their heart and in their minds is amazing. One of the problems of the world that we don't share so much uh, and when we sit at the same table maybe we'll, we'll find out that the person that you th I think is really different from me is not so different. It's more work this one. <laughs> a lot of patience. <laughs> Yes, it was, uh, why did I do it? A colleague uh, had started this project on a grant. It's been almost a year, I would say 10, 11 months. So yeah, it was a bit of a roller coaster and a mountain to climb. There's always those struggles between what people like, what people want, what is art to them. I had this negative concept of graffiti and thought it was just people that didn't have a good use of their time and just wanted to deface blank spaces. 
My name is Ian Lovett. I'm the mayor of Whitchurch Stouffville. So there's graffiti and there's street art, right? And they're very, very different. We have a graffiti problem. We have kids just running around tagging words on walls and in alleys and under bridges, and uh, but that's not what this is. And so I think it took a, a little bit to educate uh, members of council for sure, but also the community as to what street art is and the benefit that street art has in a municipality uh, and in, even in a small community like ours. There's a group of established artists that have been working in this space and in their space and, and we were coming in to share that space. They are really good artists. They oh, yeah. paint with oil painting and watercolor and all that and they've been artists for decades and decades. Amazingly I think I saw uh, yeah, a bit of that uh, fear and uh, in uh, being unsure and sort of that uh, graffiti, not art, more vandalism sort of issue kind of melted away. Phenomenal, phenomenal job and I always uh, at the end of a session I love to put the work out because when you're focused like that you don't always realize and collectively at a group what you've accomplished. For all of this work uh, I kind of feel like you're going to be rewarded tomorrow. Today is the, like the big day, like everyone come to the wall, tired to, to spray paint. The, the stencils that they developed uh, the last two days. I always want to deface public property. <laughs> I think this idea of uh, yeah, making the work of seniors visible, I think it's uh, an incredible important. And we're also like showing that street art uh, is not a bad thing and everyone can do it. And it's something that actually can work for a community. So incredibly proud, yeah. It, it's kind of overwhelming. I think this is incredible. And I, I would love to see more and more of this happen in the future. Seniors sometimes are missing in conversations that happen about a lot of different things but our relevance seems to disappear the older that we get. Um, just, we're not in advertising, except in certain very stereotypical environments. We're not in films and TV shows, unless it's a very stereotypical role. And so our import just disappears. Starting this out talking about graffiti, saying is that a young person's thing and is it a, is it a destructive thing and is it a disrespectful thing? We can now appreciate, all of us can appreciate the creativity behind it. So now let's make that bridge. So I, I think we need to understand and not fear both ways. Because I think there's an element of that, right? Fear of aging, fear of rebellion. So now we can do both. <laughs> I'm learning to myself not underestimate seniors because people who are more senior than I am, you know, and as I'm going into my golden years, maybe I'm a little less afraid of it. What, a, what an amazing experience this has been. I cannot believe it, how much, how much, much fun they've had. I thought it was just junk on a wall. I, I never didn't really see any value to it. I'm looking at it through a different pair of eyes now. It's, it has more meaning to me now. Yeah, I'm letting myself go loose. <laughs> Never thought as a senior I'd be doing this so great. It's enriched my senior life, really has enriched it, and made me more, more courageous and willing to put myself out there. A group of people kind of come in, um, committed to leaping off a cliff with us, and uh, you know, kind of doing it together, they were all in the same boat. Far beyond my expectations, and I think the biggest learning thing for me was uh, probably uh, not to underestimate people. Absolutely, yeah. And how does it feel to finally see it all happening behind you? Emotional. Sorry, just so proud. Yeah, yeah, and this is why we do it, because we, this is, yeah. This is why. It, it is fun. I might have done it ugly, <laughs> but it's first try. It's a freedom of expression, and which is <laughs> what we always desire for. Hey, I'm still contributing. That's a good feeling. <laughs>